Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. Oh, wow. What a day. <laughs> and it's like not even, I don't even think it's 12 o'clock yet. Oh, um, I have a few things to talk about. So go grab a coffee or a tea or a wine or whatever you're drinking. <laughs> I'm not going to judge because I have coffee with Carol Ann's in it. Because it's just been that kind of a morning. It's Christmas season, right? Um, okay, where do I start? Let's start with Happy Mail. I got a card from our Miss Seta at Seta's place. <clears throat> I went to the post office box today, which I will get into in the fiasco. <clears throat> And this was there, so this made it all better. Oh, do do. It says, "We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy New Year." Isn't that pretty? I think I better put my glasses on for this. <laughs> says, hey, Sandy, Christmas blessings to you and your family. All the best in 2021. Seta and Lenore. Hi, Lenore. How are you, sweetheart? We never get to see enough of you. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas to you, too. Uh, I'm really hoping that once this year is done, we're finished with all the shenanigans and we can get back to life as we used to know it. Man, I was at the post office and the lineup was around the corner of the building. It was nuts because everybody was doing the six feet apart, masks, only four people were allowed in the post office at one time. Uh, it, it was just crazy. It took me about 45 minutes just to get into the building. Ugh. So, yeah, there was a smart guy, though. He took a chair. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you go, guy. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am not going to be doing Christmas cards this year. Number one, because I think it's too late. Um, by the time I get them out and in the mail, it's going to be probably New Year's, <laughs> at least, before everybody gets them. So I'm going to do some maybe some e-cards. Um, stuff like that but uh i just i i'm so busy that i just don't have time to do them next year i will do them again uh, but this year it's just too much craziness going on um you know i've i'm not only taking care of my stuff i like my mailing out orders and getting orders ready and everything i'm taking care of my sister's stuff as well and then the 25 days of christmas i was doing and all the videos once a day and the la, 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 christmas shopping and all that <laughs> it's like i just don't have time i'm so sorry i feel so bad um yeah on that note did anybody happen to see lisa from lisa Cro Cro lisa's crochet's video uh-huh. My bad. <laughs> I sent her and Stephen a Christmas box and inside I put a, a burlap bag with all their Christmas stuff in it. I sent the wrong burlap bag. I sent my daughters, Ashley. Yeah. So... <laughs> So I totally confused Lisa when she opened it up. She was like, ah, are these Ashley's gifts? Or are these for us? Or like, what do I do here? I kind of caught her on the spot when she was doing her video. But she opened it up. She saw the card and she realized, okay, these are the gifts. Wrong bag, but they are her gifts. So I quickly uh, had a bag mailed out to her with her name on it. And... Uh, She's going to be hopefully getting that within a week or so. So you'll probably see her opening that up. But I felt horrible when she opened it up. And she goes, oh, I love this bag. I've always wanted one of these bags, but it says Ashley on it. <laughs> I was like, oh, brain fart. I, 
uh, <clears throat> I've been hurrying trying to get gifts done and get them out in the mail and it was a total brain fart. It's one of those, you grab the bag, you put stuff in, you put mail it out the door. Yeah, I, I totally messed that up. I'm so sorry, Lisa, <laughs> but your bag is on its way. So yeah. Oh, dummy. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. Um, speaking of Christmas gifts, I have a housekeeper that comes in once every two weeks to help me out. Um, my OGs out there, you know that I'm on disability. I can't do stuff like cleaning bathtubs and all that. I can't bend over and do all that. So I have a lady, wonderful lady that comes in. Um, her name is Karen and her daughter's name is Cass. And they come in and they help me out. So I, um, every year I get them, I give them a Christmas gift. And so this year, uh, I, the blue um, keyhole scarf that I made, I'll put the picture up here, here, probably. Uh, I'm giving that to Karen. And then I went on Pamela's Adoring Creations and I saw a tutorial that she did for the sock monkey slippers. So I started making one. <laughs> I have to make the other one. I actually made a slipper, guys. It looks really long, but when I put my foot in it, it actually fits me. So, I mean, it does look long, but it's actually not. Once you get your foot in there and it puffs all out. But look, I actually made one. I don't make pairs of anything, really. Um, I did make a pair of fingerless gloves for Lisa, which I was really shocked I was able to do because I can't get two of anything right. But I did. <laughs> so I thought, what the heck? I might as well try a slipper. <laughs> so I'm working on the second slipper today to um, give to Cass. And also, Karen had asked me if I could make her a soap sack uh, for her daughter's gift. Well, I took it a step further and I took a a page out of Gary from Urban Yarns um, book and he did some gift boxes with some stuff in it. So what I did was I told her, I says, look, I'm going to make up these gift boxes. I'm going to sell them for like 25 bucks or whatever. And do you want to buy them for cash? And she goes, yes, I'll take two. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so I had to hurry up and make make up both of these packs. But isn't this box just gorgeous? Do I have it upside down? I have it upside down. Isn't this gorgeous? Ah, oh, it's just so pretty. And I got it from the Dollar Tree. No, Dollar Dollarama. I think I got it from Dollarama. Um. I just fell in love with this box. It comes in different sizes, but I was just like, oh, I, that box is just gorgeous. And it was only $1.25. So you open it up and what I did was I made, I, I, when I was at the craft fair, I bought, remember I was telling you guys, I bought a whole whack and bunch, like $40 worth of handmade soap. So what I did was I put one of those soaps in a bag. Oh my God, they smell amazing. I went and I purchased oops, a couple of face masks. So I put that in there. And then I put a soap, no, a face cloth that I did. It's the crisscross half crisscross double crochet. I think it is. So I did one of those. <clears throat> and then I did <laughs> these kind of look a little pathetic, but I did a scrubby. Um, what do you call it? Face scrubby. 
and this was a Bernat scrub, scrub off, scrubby something. You get it in Walmart. <laughs> so I did those. And then I did a face scrubby like this. It's face cloth. And then I did another one like that, but with the scrub off scrubby stuff. And then I did a soap sack. So then I, I just put them all in there, tried to make them look pretty. Uh, <laughs> it's a little difficult because they're all weirdo kind of sizes and shapes and all of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and there you have it. So um, I did up two of those for her and the soaps are different scents. So, I mean, this one's like cinnamon something. Oh, it's just oh, amazing. I love cinnamon, anything cinnamon. So I made up those. That was fun. <laughs> uh, okay, and then I did another pocket shawl with cookie yarn. I finished this one. Why does it look like everything's so fuzzy? Like, or smoky or whatever. I wonder if it's because I've got, I've got the, um, hang on, let's see. Nope. It's daytime, so I get the cast off of the, um, the windows. So anyway, <clears throat> there, oops, there is, I've got the tassels on it. I've got the sideways kind of pocket with the button. Um, I think it turned out really pretty. I didn't do any color controlling. This is the way the cookie yarn came out. Uh, it, I just found it's really beautiful. So I did that one. Okay. Um, next on the list, uh, all of the bags my sister did are sold out. Okay. I want to make a disclaimer, actually a couple of disclaimers on the last batch. I totally forgot to put the measurements, but I did show them on video and I of course didn't bring one. Hang on. Wait. Okay, so if you purchased them, that probably means that you saw me on video with them. They are mini pouches, okay? These are not full-on project bags or anything like that. They are mini pouches that have a, um, what do you call it? Uh, tassel and a little signy thing. Okay. Um, they sold out, <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, this one, I just finished doing these ones. So that one, and then there's this one. Uh, and then there's this one. I am waiting right now for some more tassels. There's this pink one with the, oops, come on, turn around. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting for some more tassels, uh, before I put the next batch through. I, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys about something. <clears throat> and this was my own choice. Okay. Because we live in Canada, shipping is more expensive. These bags we were selling for $12. The shipping 
on them was just over $12. I did not find that it was fair that you guys should pay that extortionate price for shipping. So I put a flat fee of six dollars uh, per bag like uh, or six dollars for the first bag and then five dollars for any the first a second bag if you wanted a second bag so i was eating six dollars per bag for shipping okay i i just i decided that i didn't want my sister to have to pay for that uh, and I would just pay it myself. <clears throat> okay. I got a little bit smarter. This last batch that I sent out, um, I vacuum sealed them to make them flatter. It did help the shipping a little bit. Um, but the shipping was still $9.23. This is all Canadian funds. So I'm still eating some of the money, but it is a little bit less. So that's good. So I'm paying out about $3, just a little more than $3 per bag. And I'm fine with that. <clears throat> but, you know, I just want you guys to know, if you look at the shipping, you think, wow, that's pretty expensive shipping well number one the u.s price and the canadian price are going to be different the u.s is going to be spent is paying less because of your dollar so i kind of tried to figure that out as well and i was like whatever <laughs> whatever happens happens I, i'll just this is all for my sister right like this is all um this is so my sister can can do stuff and, and feel good about herself and feel like she's giving and giving back to the community and to, you know, keep her motivated, right? This is not about um, the money for me, okay? So that's that. Okay, now my sister is starting to make, um, if you saw a couple videos ago, or no, my last last vlog? I don't know. Um, she's starting to make, whoops, lost the tag, these kitchen towels. Okay, and you just put this, um, unbutton it, put this, uh, the stove or dishwasher handle in there, button it up, and away you go. Okay? I've got all the buttons on these, but I have no idea how much it's going to cost to ship these. Okay. Uh, also, Etsy takes um, takes a bunch of the profit whenever I post something. It's like 20 cents for me just to post it in Etsy, and then they take however much. I can't remember how much it is, 28 cents or what, something, um, when I sell it. So for these, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> for these ones, I decided that I'm not going to put these in the Etsy shop. Um, I am going to do this like Billy the Crafty Floridian. I think she's pretty smart and she, she's got a good system going, and, but... Like I said, I don't know how much it's going to cost to ship these yet. I'm assuming it's going to cost at least $9. So just to be forewarned, we're, we were thinking about selling these for $7 a piece. The shipping is going to cost more than what we're selling these for. That's just the way it is. There's nothing I can do about it. But like I said, um the dollar is going to be different in the u.s so you're going to be spending less on on the towel and on <clears throat> the shipping so what i want to know um leave a comment down below 
what do you think is fair for me to charge for these? Because I've looked on Etsy and people are actually charging like $12 per tea towel for these. So I'm going, well, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not sure wh how much to charge for these, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know. This is all new to me. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to number them. Uh, I'm going to get everybody to email me. The first person that emails me, like, I'm going to number them. Like, like this, like Billy does. And <clears throat> then, excuse me. And then you just email me. And the first person that emails me for that, with that number, um, and then pays me for it, gets it. So, yeah. So what I, what I need to know is what do you guys think? I'm going to show them to you and then you, you can let me know. Uh, and I'll try and work it out. Okay. I know there was one person that, that messaged me on my email where I started showing these that said that she wanted the flamingo one. I can't remember who it was. Um, because she didn't email me. She just put it in the comments. So, um, if you can email me, that would be great. So, okay. So this one is going to be number one. The kitchen is the heart of the home. Okay. This one is number two. This one is number three. This one is number four. This is number five. This is number six. Now I've got two of these, but one has a gray topper. And this one has a black topper. Okay. This is number eight. This one's number nine. And I've got two of these. The only difference between these two is the buttons are a little bit different. And here's the other one. The button is a little different. Here's number 11. This is the one that um, the lady wanted. I totally didn't write down the name at the time. <clears throat> Here's the other one. And then I've got two of this. Okay. 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 So there they are. Um, let me know what you guys think. Okay. I can't do a whole lot about the shipping. Um, like I said, it's this time around. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to vacuum seal these as well. Uh, take it down to the post office. Try and figure out what the shipping is actually going to cost. And then what I might do is just make a price with the shipping included. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. Billy, I don't know how you do this because you, you do stuff and your shipping is so cheap. I, do, I can't do it up here. 
Like I really can't. It's, it's crazy. So, okay, guys, I think that's all I had to talk about. I think. <laughs> okay, so I love you all. Thank you for joining me. And thank you so much for supporting my sister. Um, it means the world to us. When I opened up the email and saw that all her bags sold, I was thrilled and I sent a message to her and she was in tears. She was just like, you got to be kidding me, really? And I was like, yeah, like, it's so awesome. This community is amazing. I just, I love you all the bits. I really do. So um, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to go. I've got things I need to do. I need to finish this second sock. <laughs> Hopefully I can do it. Okay, guys, I love you. Okay, bye.